I need to get my life together. I was gonna say, I don't know how I let it get like this, but I do, I was lazy. Now here we are, it's the consequences of my actions, but I have some things that are gonna take place to get my life together because I am moving relatively soon-ish. So I wanna first organize this apartment. It's a mess, clearly, and then I want to clean it. Honestly, I've kinda just let it go. And then will come the fun part of getting rid of stuff, donating, selling clothes, going through every single item that I own and asking myself, do I really need this? Whatever, because I wanna go into this move moving into a house with only things that I need. I don't want extra baggage. So I wanna get rid of as much as I can, which I've been looking forward to for so long. So that is our mission. I say ours because you're gonna help me. Even though you can't physically help me, you're here for the moral support and that's all I need right now. I am gonna start with the living room because it's stressing me out the most, especially since it's like the main living area. I just hate that it looks like this. I am gonna put on some Vampire Diaries to at least make this a little bit more enjoyable. I have no reason to be doing that. It's literally like the ninth time I've rewatched the show. progress is being made it might not look like it but i have some laundry going right now i have about three more loads after that because we've put off so much for so long but this is the pile i'm about to get into i have to fold that actually sounds horrible right now what are you gonna do about it <laughs> closet first in the house the closet space is a little bit smaller that was literally the one thing that I didn't love about the house but I feel like it forces me to be intentional about what I keep so we're gonna go through the closet right now I have so much stuff in here my bags are up here like sweatpants and different things all my tops I have this huge chest of drawers and then all of my bikinis at the bottom We are making some pretty good progress. This is the pile that I've been throwing into. And then this is how many extra hangers. I think when I started this, I only had like two hangers on this. So that's kind of how I gauge how much I got rid of is how many more hangers I have that are free now. I want to go through everything one more time just because I feel like it's still so much stuff. I want to be one of those people that are ruthless when it comes to closet cleanouts. I want to just have the pieces that I know I wear. And then there's things like this, and I'm usually not like a sentimental person when it comes to clothes, really. But then I pull out this. I haven't worn this in over a year, way over a year. This is the shirt that I met Micah in, and I that was the first time I ever wore it. I haven't worn it since. And now I would just feel guilty if I got rid of it because he has the shirt that he met me in. Oh, I still need to do this bin right here. I'm very happy with this progress. I wanted to go through my clothes first, just get the ball rolling on getting rid of things. Next on the list is gonna be going through stuff. Books, little knickknacks, my makeup, skincare, my bathroom stuff. <laughs> start off with the bookshelf truly it pains me to do this i think maybe two months ago i went through and decluttered it i donated about 30 35 books to the library and i just feel like there's still so much more because i don't think i'm going to be able 
to take all of these to the new house again I could and do I want a home library one day yes I don't think that's in the cards for me right now and I just want to have books that are like my favorite and then ones that I haven't read I think the ones that pain me the most are <laughs> the Twilight books because I don't know if I need to keep this thick ass series of five books i reread them for a video and i don't think i'm gonna read them again so these are going on the other end i have books that i've already read like the akatar series or the beginning of them but i don't think i want to get rid of these because i feel like i would give these out to friends who also want to read and they're also just some of my favorite books <laughs> guest slash second bathroom right now I just did a clean out of the stuff in my bathroom went through everything under the sink have a huge bag of stuff this bathroom I mainly just keep stuff for if we have guests which honestly doesn't happen super often so some of it's used but for the most part I keep a lot of the PR that I get gifted here and also my extra makeup so I want to go through that makeup I feel like now especially I have my routine I have my products that I like so I kind of know what I can get rid of. If anything's new, then I will either give it away to family, friends, or donate it. And then, yeah, same with the PR. It's kind of crazy how much stuff accumulates with what I get sent, which I'm very grateful for, but sometimes definitely gets overwhelming. I'm like, what do I do with this? One person only has so much hair or so much face to like put makeup and use all these products on. But I mean, it's nice that I get to pass it along to other people. Actually, why don't we do a little giveaway? That could be fun. Okay, you can win this Brazilian bum bum cream, um, this super goop unseen sunscreen for your body, this Kerastase hair mask, sun bum coconut argan oil, this little makeup forever makeup sponge, this summer Fridays lip butter balm, this is the vanilla one, another little repair mask from Kai and a super goop play sunscreen so just some random things all you have to do make sure you're following me make sure you're subscribed first of all to this channel follow me on instagram it's at avajules underscore and comment down below on this video if your dream home is in the city or in the suburbs or rural let me know like where you want to settle down one day so comment that let me know and also make sure to include your instagram handle so that i can dm you if you win, I might end up throwing some other stuff in here too, but these things for sure. Okay, this is something I've put off for so long. I know we all have that one thing in our home, our room, our place that is just like the most dreadful to clean. And for me, that is this cursed couch. This thing needs to be cleaned. I also have this really disgusting, for one, uh, bad habit of anytime I'm like sitting on the couch, eating, whatever, say I, you know, like pull out a strand of hair, I'll throw it behind the- To me, the behind the couch does not exist, but it is a war zone back there. The occasional time I'll take a peek, I'm disgusted, but usually what happens is because this is a cheaper couch, the feathers inside are always poking out and either stabbing me and wounding me or just like flying everywhere. So when the little feathers pop out, I also throw it behind the couch, so. Ew! Like, originally I was gonna sell the couch because we're getting a bigger one for the house, but I feel like this would be good to put in the office so I can like podcast on it. Ew! This is what I mean. Just all the feathers that fly around irritate me so much. There she is. My, my guilty, uh, I don't wanna say pleasure, but like, kinda. We've got this little couch cleaner here. We've used it on the carpet before. It works pretty well, so I'm gonna try and clean the spots. Like, I feel like the armrest gets kind of dirty and obviously you can't remove these parts of the couch, so. Let's see 
how we did. Mystery juice. We have officially gone to the point in the video that I have been dreading the most. If you have been wondering why don't I ever film in this room because I live in a two bedroom, it's because it looks like this. Um, I am so embarrassed by this and it's just been like a dumping grounds for everything that I don't want to deal with because I'm like, you know what? I'll just sacrifice this room. Everything else out there will look clean, but I just know what's lurking behind this door. I always keep this door closed. And this is supposed to be like a productive space for me to do work and be creative. And it has not been like that in so long. I refuse to let that happen in the new house, but this is, this is what it is. I don't even know where to start. I feel like when it comes to a mess like this, where does one start? Oh, that's just like, the part that I have the hardest time with. I've kind of accepted that this room is gonna be the room where everything kind of goes to shit while we're moving, but I wanna at least get it like semi somewhat clean. There's a lot of stuff in the closet that I need to go through, a lot of stuff in the drawers. So I wanna get it <laughs> as good as I possibly can. that I don't think it's possible for this room to get clean right now. These trash bags are all the Poshmark things that I still have to list. So once I get that going, that'll take a lot out. I feel like the boxes look messy, but I'm keeping them because anytime that it's like a decent sized box, I'm just keeping it for the move so that, I don't know, we could just use it one more time and be a little more resourceful. But yeah, it's so, it's so messy in here. The rest, I might start boxing up soon, even though we are still a bit away. The only things that are in here are my camera things that I don't use super often, so I might start boxing those. The only things that I keep in here are camera stuff, podcast stuff. I could start packing those now because I don't think I'm gonna need it. problem is that I don't know what a single one of these cords is for. I haven't reached to use it since they've been in here for like two years. But in my head, I'm like, what if I need it? What if it's an important cord? I need to stop doing that. So I'm trying to go through some of these things, really ask myself, have I used this? And the answer is no, I'm probably not going to use it. And I'm probably don't, I probably don't even need it. First official box of the move is all packed up. That cleared out pretty much like two complete drawers but it's all my camera stuff that I don't use on the daily. It is so weird to see this place all packed up. I've only started on this bedroom, but the drawers are empty. The artwork's coming off the walls, like it is just getting so real. Thanks for keeping me company. I feel like we got a lot done. Don't forget to enter my little giveaway if you wanna win some fun products. I'll pick a winner a week after this goes live. Moving update, it looks like we should be moving in May, which is so soon if all goes according to plan, which it never does. <laughs>